Hello students, in the previous session we discussed about ellipse and some of the definitions related to it. In this session we shall look into more details about it. Let us discuss about the ordinate, double ordinate and the lattice rectum. We have the following terms associated to the ellipse x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1 where a is greater than p. Ordinate and double ordinate. Let p be a point on the ellipse and let p n be perpendicular to the major axis a a dash such that p n produced meets the ellipse at p dash. Then p n is called the ordinate of p and p n p dash the double ordinate of p. Lattice rectum. It is a double ordinate passing through the focus. In figure L s L dash is the lattice rectum and L s is called the semi lattice rectum. M s dash M dash is also a lattice rectum. The coordinates of L are A e comma S l as L lies on the ellipse x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1, the coordinates of L will satisfy the equation of the ellipse that is a e whole square upon a square plus s l square upon b square is equal to 1. So, s l whole square is equal to b square into 1 minus e square. We can write it as s l whole square is equal to b square into b square upon a square since b square is equal to a square into 1 minus e square and 1 minus e square can be written as b square upon a square. So, s l is equal to b square upon a. Hence, length of the lattice rectum l l dash is equal to 2 times s l that is equal to 2 b square upon a or 2 a into 1 minus e square. Now, let us discuss about the focal distances of a point on the ellipse. The distances of any point on the ellipse from its foci are known as its focal distances. We have a theorem related to it which says the sum of the focal distances of any point on an ellipse is constant and equal to the length of the major axis of the ellipse. We have an important remark to make here. On account of this property, a second definition of the ellipse may be given as follows. An ellipse is the locus of a point which moves in such a way that the sum of its distances from two fixed points that is foci is always constant. Now, let us look into the equation of ellipse in other forms. In the equation of the ellipse x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1. If a is greater than b or a square is greater than b square, denominator of x square is greater than that of y square. Then the major and minor axis lie along x axis and y axis respectively as shown in the figure. But if a is less than b or a square is greater than b square that is denominator of x square is less than that of y square then the major axis of the ellipse lies along the y axis and is of the length 2b and the minor axis along the x axis and is of the length 2a. The coordinates of foci s and s dash are 0 comma b e and 0 comma minus b e respectively. The equations of the directrices z k and 
z dash k dash r y is equal to b upon e and y is equal to minus b upon e respectively. The eccentricity e is given by the formula a square is equal to b square into 1 minus e square or e is equal to square root of 1 minus a square upon b square. The shape of the ellipse is shown in the figure. We have here see the figure of the ellipse with the points s and s dash and points a and a dash you can see in the figure here. Various results related to the ellipses x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1 where a is greater than b and x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1 where a is less than b are given in the following table for ready reference. Look here we have the table with coordinates of the center for the ellipse x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1 where a is greater than b is 0 comma 0 and it is again 0 comma 0 for the other ellipse x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1 where a is less than b. For the coordinates of the vertices in the first case we have vertices to be a comma 0 and minus a comma 0 whereas for the second case where we have a less than b we have the coordinates of the vertices to be 0 comma b and 0 comma minus b. Look at the coordinates of the foci for the first one that is a greater than b we have a e comma 0 and minus a e comma 0. For the other ellipse x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1 where a is less than b the coordinates of foci are 0 comma b e and 0 comma minus b e. Length of the major axis in the first case is 2 a and in the second case where a is less than b it is 2 b. Similarly, the length of the minor axis in the first case x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1 where a is greater than b the minor axis is 2b and in the second case where a is less than b we have the length of the minor axis to be 2a. Equation of the major axis in the first case is y is equal to 0 and for the second case where a is less than b it is x is equal to 0. And equation of the minor axis for the first case we have as x is equal to 0 and in the second case where a is less than b it is y is equal to 0. Equation of the directrices for both the cases we have here where a is greater than b it is x is equal to a upon e and x is equal to minus a upon e. Whereas in the second case where we have a to be less than b for the ellipse we have y is equal to b upon e and y is equal to minus b upon e. Eccentricity for the first case we have here where a is greater than b e to b square root of 1 minus b square upon a square and eccentricity for the second case where a is less than b we have e is equal to square root of 1 minus a square upon b square. Length of the lattice rectum in the first case we have as 2b square upon a whereas in the second case length of the lattice rectum where a is less than b it is 2a square upon b. Focal distance of a point x y is a is equal to plus or minus e x and focal distance for a point x y in the second case where a is less than b is b is equal to plus or minus e y. In the special form if the center of the ellipse is at a point h comma k and the directions of the axis are parallel to the coordinate axis then its center is x minus h whole square upon a square plus y minus k whole square upon b square is equal to 1. Now let us discuss about type 1 problems which are based on 
finding the equation of an ellipse when its focus, directrix and eccentricity are given. Look into this example. Find the equation of the ellipse with focus at 1 comma 1 and eccentricity 1 upon 2 and directrix x minus y plus 3 is equal to 0. Also find the equation of its major axis. Let us see the solution. Let p x comma y be a point on the ellipse. Then by definition s p is equal to e into p m. Here e is equal to 1 upon 2. Coordinates of s are 1 comma 1 and the equation of the directrix is x minus y plus 3 is equal to 0. Therefore, s p is equal to 1 upon 2 into p m. Using distance formula, we could express the equation as square root of x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square is equal to 1 upon 2 into x minus y plus 3 upon square root of 1 square plus minus 1 whole square which can be simplified as 8 into x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square is equal to x minus y plus 3 whole square which on solving gives us 7x square plus 7y square plus 2xy minus 22x minus 10y plus 7 is equal to 0. This is the required equation of the ellipse. The major axis is a line perpendicular to the directrix and passing through the focus. Therefore, the equation of the major axis is y is equal to minus 1 that is equal to minus 1 into x minus 1 or x plus y minus 2 is equal to 0. Now let us look into type 2 example on finding the various elements of an ellipse when its equations are given. Here we have an example. For the following ellipse, find the length of major and minor axis, coordinates of foci, vertices and the eccentricity. 16x square plus 25y square is equal to 400. Let us see the solution. We have 16x square plus 25y square is equal to 400. x square upon 25 plus y square upon 16 is equal to 1. Take this equation as 1. This is of the form x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1, where a square is equal to 25 and b square is equal to 16. That is, a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 4. Clearly, a is greater than b. Therefore, the major and minor axis of the ellipse in the first equation are along x and y axis respectively. Therefore, length of major and minor axis of the ellipse is equal to 2a that is equal to 10. Length of the minor axis 2b is equal to 8. The coordinates of the vertices are a comma 0 and minus a comma 0 that is 5 comma 0 and minus 5 comma 0. Let E be the eccentricity of the ellipse. Then E is equal to square root of 1 minus b square upon a square that is equal to square root of 1 minus 16 upon 25 that gives us 3 upon 5. The coordinates of the foci are ae comma 0 and minus ae comma 0 that is 3 comma 0 and minus 3 comma 0. We have yet another example here show that x square plus 4y square plus 2x plus 16y plus 13 is equal to 0 is the equation of an ellipse. 
find its eccentricity, vertices, foci, directrices and the length and the equation of the lattice rectum. We have x square plus 4y square plus 2x plus 16 plus 13 is equal to 0, which can be expressed as x square plus 2x plus 1 plus 4 into y square plus 4y plus 4 is equal to 4, which can be simplified as x plus 1 whole square plus 4 into y plus 2 whole square is equal to 4, which can be rewritten as x plus 1 whole square upon 2 plus y plus 2 whole square upon 1 square is equal to 1. Take this as equation number 1. Shifting the origin at minus 1 comma minus 2 without rotating the coordinate axis and denoting the new coordinates with respect to the new axis by x and y, we have x is equal to x minus 1 and y is equal to y minus 2. Take this as equation number 2. Using these relations, equation 1 reduces to x square upon 2 square plus y square upon 1 square is equal to 1. Take this as equation number 3. This is of the form x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1, where a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 1. Thus, the given equation represents an ellipse. Clearly, a is less than b. So, the given equation represents an ellipse whose major and minor axes are along x and y axis respectively. Eccentricity E is given by E is equal to square root of 1 minus b square upon a square that is equal to square root of 1 minus 1 upon 4 that is root 3 upon 2. The vertices of the ellipse with respect to the new axis are x is equal to plus or minus a and y is equal to 0 that is x is equal to plus or minus 2 and y is equal to 0. So, the vertices with respect to the old axis are given by plus or minus 2 minus 1 comma minus 2 that is minus 3 comma minus 2 and 1 comma minus 2 by putting x is equal to plus or minus 2 and y is equal to 0 in second equation. The coordinates of the foci with respect to the new axis are given by x is equal to plus or minus a e comma y is equal to 0 that is x is equal to plus or minus root 3 comma y is equal to 0. So, the coordinates of the foci with respect to the old axis are given by root 3 minus 1 comma minus 2. This we have obtained by putting x is equal to plus or minus square root 3 and y is equal to 0 in equation number 2. The directrices. The equations of the directrices with respect to the new axis are x is equal to plus or minus a upon e that is x is equal to plus or minus 4 upon square root 3. So, the equations of the directrices with respect to the old axis are x is equal to plus or minus 4 upon root 3 minus 1 that is 4 upon root 3 minus 1 and x is equal to minus 4 upon root 3 minus 1. This we have obtained by putting x is equal to plus or minus 4 upon under root 3 in equation 2. Length of the lattice rectum is equal to 2b square upon a that is equal to 2 upon 2 that is equal to 1. Now, let us see how do we create equations of lattice recta. The equations of the lattice recta with respect to the new axis are x is equal to plus or minus a e that is x is equal to plus or minus square root 3. So, the equations of the lattice recta with respect to the old axis are x is equal to plus or minus under root 3 minus 1 that is x is equal to square root 3 minus 1 and x is equal to 
minus square root 3 minus 1. This we have obtained by putting x is equal to plus or minus square root 3 in second equation. So, students today we have learnt here how to solve problems on ellipse. In the next session we shall solve some more examples to understand the concept. Thank you.